个。Oh no! My cameras are gone. Jazzy. Oh, my heart just sank for it. It was burnt to a cinder. It looked like ground coffee. I've got 10 minutes to go now, and I don't have any crumble. Quickly, do it again. Quick. I don't have time. I don't have time. She was struggling, and everything started to snowball. Who's got a camera lies on the top? It's got to flip its heart. Yeah, I don't have time to flip it. Look, what Justine really needs is to get that pair to heart right. She's going to be really pushed. Matt, should I flip it? Well, it will caramelise that way too, but flipping is better. All right, here we go. This is a, a make or break moment because if it cracks, it's finished, it's gone. <laughs> Tarts come out, it looks beautiful. <laughs> but you know what? The crumble's burnt. I need crumble on that plate or else they're going to know that that's mine and I failed. My instincts were to get some more crumble on. Even if it doesn't work, just I've got to try. I didn't even measure, I was just chucking in some flour, a bit of sugar, a bit of butter, a bit of ginger, just get it in there as soon as I could. I admired how Justine fell off the bike and got back on really quickly. You're gonna get it on me, you're gonna get it on me. Five minutes to go, tart is ready, but I just need to let it cool a little bit because it's still quite puffy. I've pulled the crumble out of the oven. I'm happy with the way it looks. It was still extremely hot because I got it straight out of the oven. My cream's going to melt on it. Justine and Matt, you've got one minute to go. Go, Jazzy. I'm just waiting for the 30 second countdown and when it's about 10 seconds, I'm going to put the dollop of cream. 30 seconds, guys. Just wait. Stand there and hold it until the last 10. 10 seconds to go. Very good. It's going to melt straight away. I step away and I'm like, oh, thank God. I have every element on that plate. I'm so happy. And your time is up. Very good. How long have you been cooking? Not long. <laughs> Justine, your plate one. Please bring your dish forward. And Matt, that makes you plate two. I have to say, hers looked pretty good. And that's when I started to get a bit nervous, you know. I thought, you know, she can beat me quite easily. Now, the judges have absolutely no idea who cooked what dish. Both dishes will receive a total combined score out of 30, and the highest score will win. My dessert is being judged first, and I'm actually quite happy with it. The pastry's really, really well cooked. It's crisp, you know, it's toasty on the bottom. Nice caramelised, glossy, sweet pear on the top. It's excellent dessert. Very, very good dessert. If there's any negatives, a little bit crunchy on the pear and a little bit dry. If plate one is Justine's, that girl's got some serious talent. She's definitely a big contender in this competition. Fantastic caramel. Well, I think the crumble could be darker. It still has a crispness that's very attractive and adds another element to the dish. I know this girl is good, but of course I want to win. It's uh, pride and ego on the line here. Tart, even though it looks much better, plate number one may have had the edge for me in terms of just the flavour. The pear is definitely cooked more than plate one's, which is, you know, where it needs to be. It's just absolutely delightful. 
Um, caramel's very similar. Crumb, darker, more intricate in flavor. While there, there's beautifully cut pear across the top of the tart, it hasn't got quite the same crispness and lift the plate one had. Other than that, that's an impeccable dessert. waiting for the, the judges. It's nerve-wracking. I haven't been through that for a long time. After all the chaos in my kitchen, I just can't wait to hear what they have to say about my dish. Well, judges, I can now reveal that plate one was Justine. Matt, how did you score plate one? Seven out of ten. Oh. Great dish, the caramel. Almost note for note, exactly what we tasted on Matt's dish. George, what did you think of Justine's dish? Eight out of ten. Ooh. You know, my criticism is the pear was a bit crunchy. Give you another day and you would have perfected that dish. Gary? I scored your dish. Wow. Nine out of ten. <laughs> She's got what it takes. She's a talented young girl. Now I'm going to cry. <laughs> close to perfect. My dish is close to perfect. There are a couple of little pointers. The quenelle on the plate, yours was a blob. The crumbs weren't as toasty as I think they should have been. But you know what? Bloody brilliant. Well done. Justine's just Thank scored you. 24 out of 30. There's a, a good chance that she might have nailed this challenge. Well, if Matt scores less than 24, that makes you the winner. Matt, what did you think of plate two? Nine out of 10. <laughs> Just the detail in the dish shows why you're so well regarded as a chef. I could have given you 10, but I know you prefer nine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. George, what did you give Matt's dish? A nine out of 10. I got a 9 out of 10 too, so there's still chance. I'm not out of the game yet. Matt's scored 18 so far. For you to win, Gary now needs to give Matt's dish a score of six or less. So Gary, tell us your score and the winner of the challenge. Matt, I scored your dish. Oh. 10 out of 10. Oh. Well done, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. You did a really good job, Matt. Yeah. Really good job. Really good job. I was very happy. I felt as though I should have been in the Olympics doing something, you know. Justine, not far. Not far, not far at all. To, to do that in such a short amount of time and get those elements on the plate looking like that, I'd just, I'd take my hat off if I had one on. <laughs> yeah, incredible job, really was. Congratulations, Matt Moran. That's a total score of 28 out of 30, which makes you the winner of our Celebrity Chef Challenge. Thank you. Matt, thank you so much for visiting us at MasterChef today. We wish you all the best. Cheers, guys. You know, I've lost, but I've just had the most amazing experience cooking against Matt Moran. I'm very humbled. For me, it's priceless. I'll never forget this day in my life.